So as we take our, uh, our tithes and uh, offerings, the next song is an old hymn of the church. I'm not sure if that's been done before, but I think it'll be familiar. Um, even though you're seated, please sing along. Lord, we thank you that you have brought us this far 
and we plan to finish what you have started in time. We pray that as we go through this journey called life, we shall enjoy each and every aspect of it, like giving kids in the back of a car. Where we need to be patient, we pray we will not grumble and throw tantrums like badly behaved kids. Father, as a church today, we put Salva City Children's Home Painting Project into your hands. We pray that anyone able to volunteer will come up and offer their help. We pray for FMPO, the charity behind the pro project, and those involved from all nations. Bless each and every one of them. We also pray for the upcoming multi church unity service. Lord, you probably know best that we need a united church. We thank you for all the churches involved. Give us a common heart and a passion for this great nation, Luxembourg. I pray that we shall worship you with gladness and passion in this service. I pray friendships will build up from there and help us as a church to do things together. We pray that you continue to encourage us to talk to you individually and as a church. Cause us to remember that when you are our Father, eager to listen, you cause us to remember that you are our Father, eager to listen to your children's heart's desires. The Creator, hence nothing is too big for you. Our friend, hence we can trust you. Our King, hence privileged. Lastly, Lord, we place the week ahead into your hands. I pray it will be a successful week for all of us. We also pray that as we receive your word, keep us attentive and receptive. I also want to pray for those um, that are in your service in children's ministry and uh, the music ministry. Uh, in the ministries that people don't get to see, um, I pray that you would bless each and every one that's involved, and uh, we pray for this in your name. Amen. This morning's reading is from Genesis chapter 23, 1 to 9, and then 17 to 20. Genesis 23. When Sarah was at 127 years old, she died at Kiriath Harbor, now called Hebron, in the land of Canaan. There Abraham mourned and wept for her. Then, leaving her body, he said to the Hittite elders, Here I am, a stranger and a foreigner among you. Please sell me a piece of, my, piece of land so I can give my wife a proper burial. The Hittites replied to Abraham, Listen, my lord, you are an honoured prince among us. Choose the finest of our tombs and bury her there. No one here will refuse you to help, him, to help you in this way. Then Abraham bowed low before the Hittites and said, Since you are willing to help me in this way, be so kind to ask Ephron, so and so far, to let me buy his cave at Machpelah, down at the end of his field. I will pay the full price in the presence of witnesses, so I will have a permanent burial, burial place for my family. So Abraham bought the plot of land belonging to Ephron at Machpelah near Mamre. This included the field itself, the cave that was in it, and all the surrounding trees. It was transferred to Abraham as his permanent possession in the presence of the Hittite elders at the city gate. Then Abraham buried his wife Sarah there in Canaan, in the cave of Machpelah near Mamre, also called Ephron. So the field and the cave were transferred from the Hittites to Abraham for use as a permanent burial place. <coughs> Talk about things that you don't usually talk about. Uh, and one of those things that we'll talk about 